good after good night <laughs> I mean good evening um, today is Wednesday I am outside of oh can you see it Marshall's and you know why I'm here I'm on a Ray mission, you guys. <laughs> my my friend Tan actually got me my Valentine's Day Ray Dunn mug. I will show you guys when I get home. But I'm on a hunt for more Ray. I have a little obsession now, and so I want to go check out what they have at this Marshalls before my hair appointment. I have a hair appointment in like 27 minutes. So let's go inside and see what we can find. I don't even know what I'm looking for. I just feel like I want some Ray Dunn. Like I'm hooked. And the weird thing is, you guys, Ray Dunn is clearly not anything new. But I just really got into it because I'm always late to trends. And so yeah, I'm hooked. So let's see what they have inside Marshall. I don't know. I'm really up. Oh, I found one thing. This is cute. That's Valentine's Day. Oh. Here we are. Here we are. Okay. Let me okay. So we have ooh insulated wine glasses. Love that. So all the spring stuff is out. I really want like. I saw one of my friends had this like tea holder. Huh. Angry, chill, do not disturb. Honey. this one relax let's see so I'm not really seeing anything that I like bits and bobbles but let me show my girl tan and then another one of my friends was looking for the zodiac ones but I don't see them at all oh wait let's look here over there oh look this is perfect huh I didn't even know Ray Dunn made all this huh. oh this is a candle oh my gosh that smells amazing citrus bergamot Gardenia peony. Oh, that smells nice too. But see, I'm kind of at the stage where I have like too many candles from Candle Day. This is cute. But y'all, I don't need anything. Ray Dunn has pins. You guys, I am late to the freaking party. Oh, these are like Valentine's Day pens. Don't even ask why I'm so late. <laughs> this is Ray Dunn too. Oh, this is actually great for like makeup and stuff or for your desk. It's $13. So I've left Marshall's you guys I got two pieces of done This is probably horrible lighting. I got two pieces of Ray for me and I got one for my girl tan aka the dugout mom Go follow her channel down below. I will leave the link She's the one who got me hooked on Ray Dunn, so it was only right that I got her one. I won't show her mug just because she'll probably show it on her channel, but I will show you guys the two pieces that I got when I get home. Right now, I'm about to run in here and get my hair done. If you have not noticed, I'm rocking my huge top knot because my hair is extremely dirty.
dirty and I am in need of a relaxer. I'm not gonna film while I'm in there. I've just had too many weird interactions happen that I wanna just keep where I get my hair done private. Um, so yeah, I won't be vlogging inside, but this is the before. Hello, gray streak, she's popping. <laughs> um, and of course, I'll show you what my hair looks like when I'm done. Let me put my ray in the back. Um, I'm super excited, you guys. I didn't think I was gonna find anything, but I found two things, so that was a great trip. Let me run inside because I don't wanna be late. Oh, I have six minutes. <laughs> I'm trying not to get too obsessed over Ray Dunn because I might even show you guys my mug collection tomorrow. Um, it's, it's rather large and um, most of them are very sentimental to me, so I don't see myself getting rid of them. But yeah, and now I'm adding to that collection. But that's okay, you know, it's okay. I can purge and give things to Goodwill and give things away to people. But I'm just super happy that I was able to find some Ray Dunn. That's my little Ray Dunn. Um, music <laughs> so yeah let me go inside and get my hair done because oh, it's it's rough up in these parts um you guys know i don't get a relaxer all too often i usually go about every four months and it is time it is time it is time and you guys know i'm super comfortable with you because i'm actually coming to you guys like this and my hair actually still smells like the cabin <laughs> i took a cabin trip like two weekends ago and i guess my hair hasn't been down since then because it smells like the cabin but yeah let me go run inside and get my hair done because i'm feeling like a scrub hello guys today is the next day today's thursday uh, I think the last clip you guys saw of me, I was going to get my hair done. I have gotten a relaxer and now my hair looks totally stupid because I did just come back from working out and all of the curls have fallen. So I'm probably going to put some curls in it after I take a shower because it's very limp. But that's neither here nor there. I wanted to share with you guys the Ray Dunn, insert Ray Dunn theme song. That I picked up yesterday from Marshalls. So I shipped Tan's mug after I went to the gym. And this is the one I got. How perfect and appropriate. It says nope. Because some mornings you just wake up and it's like, nope, we're not doing this. So this is her. And the next thing I got is a little canister from Miss Chloe Grace, but she has had a rough morning, so I don't know if she's gonna get to use this anytime soon. It's a treat canister with a little heart on it. And of course, these are for her treats. She does not get treats every day though. Uh, she is a work in progress. But yeah, this would be cute to put back on the counter over there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put some of her treats in here. If you don't know, Chloe gets Bark Box every week. Not every week, Woo, she would love that. Every month. So she amasses a lot of treats and I usually give them away to like friends and stuff because she doesn't get a treat every day. So figured this would be perfect for keeping her treats. It also has like an airtight closure mechanism, so. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for my second and third Ray Dunn pieces. It's totally a little addiction. Um, I did want to share with you guys my mug collection today. So I will do that in a few. Um, I used to have a Starbucks cup obsession. But then I just realized that it was just way too much and I don't have space for any more mugs or cups. Um, but then again, when you see something super cute, it's like you can't pass it up, so yeah. Okay, so I wanted to share my mug collection. My brother is laughing because he thinks this is a ton, but you guys, it's really not that many. I have four, eight, 12, 13. I do have some at my mom's house, but it's not that bad, you guys. Okay, so the first one I have is from Target. I got this probably about three or four years ago. It's a Valentine's Day mug. 
The second one I have is an Ohio Starbucks mug. Shout out to Happy Stylish Mommy. She actually got this for me when we met up like three years ago. The next mug is from Starbucks as well. This is when I was heavy into Starbucks and I love it because I don't even know if you would call this a mug because it doesn't really have a, a handle. Uh, but it has gold on it and yeah, I love it. It's really different. The next one is Warped. <laughs> this is what happens when you buy super cheap mugs. Um, I got this when I went to Vegas maybe like five years ago. It's my favorite city, so I'm keeping this one. It says fabulous. Welcome to the fabulous Las Vegas. All these mugs have such special memories. This is a mug that I got this year for Valentine's Day. It says you plus me equals love. And this is by the brand Opal House at Target. The next mug I have is also from Starbucks. And this is the holiday mug from maybe four years ago or so. This is the Little Mermaid mug. Um, my mother likes using this mug too. Um, I like it. It's different. It has little scales on it. It's cute. The next mug I have is a Halloween mug. I don't really celebrate Halloween, but this was just too cute to pass up. Uh, I'm not sure where I got this. I believe I got it from the Target dollar spot like five years ago as well. The next mug is one of my favorites. This is my fancy bunny mug. <laughs> if you guys watch Vlogmas, You've probably seen this. She has on pearls and a feather and little gold shoes and she's totally fabulous. This is by Threshold. I got this probably four or five years ago as well. The next mug I have is this little pig. Um, I think I got this from like TJ Maxx. And I don't know, he's just really cute and pink. And then we get to Miss Ray Dunn. Cue the Ray Dunn music. <laughs> First one I have is my Valentine's Day mug that I also got this year from my girl Tan. It says, be mine with the red interior. Super, super cute. One thing I love about these Ray Dunn mugs is that they are huge. It doesn't say how many ounces this holds, but let's see. This, let's see. This Starbucks one is, 14 ounces and it's considerably smaller than the Ray Dunn. I don't know, these are probably like 18 ounce mugs. They're huge. Then the one I got last night is this mug that says nope. Next mug is my Starbucks Christmas mug. Once again, I probably got this like five years ago, but it's perfect for every Christmas. And the last mug, this K mug that I got from my girl, DDG LA Diva. She was so kind to send me this mug um, because, you know, Happy Sellish Mommy put us on all these mugs from Anthropology and she just sent me a little gift, um, like a weight loss congrats and just, you know, a nice little happy mail item. So I'm so appreciative for that. And I love this mug because it's black and white, but it's also like I don't know, it's just so cute. So yeah, my mug collection isn't that bad, so I really don't feel bad about possibly buying more Ray Dunn because I don't have too much. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys a tour around my mugs that I love. Good morning, you guys. Hello, how are you? I feel like it's been so long since I have vlogged, honey. We already know what's going on over there. <laughs> uh, I'm getting ready to go and have brunch with my friends. It's one of my girl's birthday. Well, her birthday was yesterday. On Valentine's Day, this vlog is probably gonna go out extremely late, but I'm not trying to bombard you guys with vlogs because I don't want you to get too used to them, like weekly or anything, because I don't think I'm gonna be doing weekly vlogs at all. Um, and I have not put on makeup in a long time. Um, I took about a month and a half off of filming just to focus on some more important things going on. And so yeah, I have not worn makeup in a while. <laughs> Let's hope this doesn't take me forever because 
I have to take pictures before I leave. But yeah, um, I was supposed to go thrifting a few days ago and I was supposed to take you guys with me. I just got busy and things kind of just got away from me. But I guess we will go sometime this week. Um, oh, I was listening to K. Michelle's new album, which is called, let's see, it's called All Monsters Are Human. <laughs> I love some K Michelle, you guys. I have loved her since she had like her first mixtape. I love her voice. I love her music. I love the lyrics. She is just everything. And actually, the restaurant we are going to today is down the street from her restaurant. So she has a restaurant called Puff and Petals here in Atlanta. I have never been. Um, I don't really like frequent a lot of celebrity restaurants just because I save that for the out of towners because whenever people come to Atlanta they want to go to like all the celeb restaurants and stuff and you guys know I'm not about a crowd and that restaurant is really small inside and you guys know how I feel about being a larger woman in these small spaces I don't have time to walk around sucking in my stomach so yeah I just, you know when you're in a small restaurant or a small store and you feel like you're just walking by things and things are knocking over, like that's just too much. So I haven't been, I've heard the food is okay. I know she did like a pop-up on Cascade a few weeks ago as well. Didn't go to that. Um, but yeah, the restaurant we are going to today is called Finn and Feathers. I think it's relatively new. Um, but my favorite brunch spots are like the old Atlanta classics like Flying Biscuit, Thumbs Up Diner, Highland Bakery. Um, I like Parish in Old Fourth Ward. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's my girl's birthday. So we're going out to celebrate her. I was just remembering actually when we went out last year for her birthday. Chloe, come on, keep scratching. She knows how to open doors now. <laughs> Last year we went to Boogaloo. So much fun. Boogaloo is one of those places that I actually don't mind going to because it's a lounge, it's not a club. And I wanna say the sections are only like $200, so it's not outrageous or anything. But yeah, your girl, she's not really into clubbing or anything like that. Like once you get to a certain age, it's just like you wanna be at home. And that's where I am. <laughs> like, I will go to a lounge for someone's birthday, even a club. You know, I I will celebrate the people that I love. But um, on a regular weekend, yeah, you won't find me there. I'm just not about crowds. And I feel like once you get to a certain age, it's just like, I'll leave that to the 20 to 25 plus group. The ones that still can go out and function the next day. Because when you get to my age, oh, going out is rough. <laughs> oh, so I actually put some curls in my hair. Um, I know a lot of you guys were saying in my hygiene routine video, which I will link down below, that it looked like my hair grew. I just normally film videos straight out of like a fresh um, straightening routine so my hair is usually curled so it looks shorter but it's still long um so but I think that was like nearing the end of like a hair cycle for me and I was gonna wash it so it was rather straight but um yeah it, it hasn't really grown exponentially <laughs> she's still hanging in there I'm also gonna try to put on some uh eyeshadow today you guys I don't know what's going on with me and makeup you guys know I go through seasons with my makeup I really haven't felt like wearing any eyeshadow lately I don't know I just haven't been into it and honestly it's like when you get your brow routine down which I do have finally you find a lash or a mascara that works well like you don't really need eyeshadow and because I have hooded lids Sometimes it's just, it's not giving you what you think it's going to give. So I just don't even bother. But yeah, let me do my makeup and I will come back and share with you guys what that looks like. Because I'm going to listen to some K. Michelle.
Okay, so I have not put on makeup in a while, nor have I worn lashes. I feel so like overdone. <laughs> ah, I mean, I love a good lash and lip moment, but it's just when you haven't done it in so long, I just feel really over the top. But I think once I get my outfit on and I catch the vibe, <laughs> I will feel a little better. So yeah, I just wanted to come back and show you guys my makeup. Simple, I did a little gold eye with a tiny bit of smoke. I used the ABH Master Palette by Mario. That was limited edition a few years ago. I used my NARS Liquid Lipstick in Star Woman. This, this is my favorite red. Like nine times out of 10, no like, 9.5 times out of 10. If you see me wearing a red lip, it is this. It's my favorite. Uh, I love the NARS Liquid Lipstick Formulation and that color is everything. And it's so weird because when I first purchased it, I went like a whole year without wearing it. But it's beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna get dressed now and I will show you guys the outfit when I'm done. So I'm wearing this Shein laser dress. And I wish it was actually double breasted, but it's not. This is what it looks like. And lay back inside. And I'm wearing some red booties. I just felt it looked really nice with this lip. This is my Top Shop layering piece. Um, it's just like a thin mock turtleneck. It, it's perfect to go under things like this. And what I really like about this dress is I can wear it in the spring and summertime as well. It is versatile. I used to do ballet. Wearing my Louis Vuitton duffel bag. Miss Grace would like to say hello. Say hello, mama. Say hi. It's her birthday coming up. So yeah, here's a better look at the shoes. They're just this little knit booty type of vibe. I got these from Nordstrom. They are from the brand MIA. So yeah, I have some people in town right now, so I'm gonna spend time with them before I leave, and I will see you guys on the way to brunch. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. I made it home like, I don't know, a few hours ago. I am super, super tired and super cold, but I had a great time tonight. It turned into an all day, an all night affair. Um, 
so much happened. I wish I could give you guys the real tea, but I can't. Yeah, I hope my girl had an amazing time for her birthday. We are supposed to go out tomorrow. Um, if I can get my old self up and out of the house tomorrow for that, I will go. If I do, I probably won't vlog it because it'll be kind of repetitive. Um, just more of the same people that you guys have seen in other vlogs when we've gone out. This is that core group of friends. So I'm gonna close today out here. I will try to go thrifting next week and take you guys, <laughs> take you guys with. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a few days or so. So I don't know what happened to the audio here, but this is my new favorite fragrance, Swiss Arabian Oud. I will link it below, amazing. Oh, today is Thursday. Uh, I'm getting ready to go to, well, not anytime soon, but I have a dental appointment in about an hour. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous because of this whole, and that is going to remind me to take my vitamin. <laughs> um, I woke up yesterday. I know you guys probably can't see. I woke up yesterday with like something structural in my throat hurting. And I say structural because I don't have an itchy or scratchy throat. I'm experiencing a little bit of allergies, but this definitely feels structural. And when I say that, I mean like when I put my head down to right here, like uh, it's just kind of sore, but not in a sense of having a sore throat. It just feels like almost like a sprained muscle. <laughs> Go ahead and do what you want to do. <laughs> so I'm not sure what that is, but of course I'm taking all the necessary precautions. I am bringing my Lysol wipes into the dentist's office because that's probably the one place that I shouldn't be going right now. <laughs> but I will ask them what precautions they're taking. Um, I have traveled twice recently in the United States, of course. Um, and I felt totally fine. I still feel fine. It's just my neck. I don't know. But I am trying to be as safe as I can. I've been staying at home. I haven't been going out much unless I absolutely need to. And I'm a germaphobe to begin with, so your girl's good. <laughs> but we can't act like it doesn't exist, that this is kind of scary. So yeah, I've just been trying to stay as healthy as can be. So I'm gonna go to the dentist. And then I'm going to go thrifting. I haven't been thrifting in probably two or three months. So I'm gonna go thrifting because there's one by my dentist office. You guys know I like Park Avenue thrift. Then I'm probably gonna grab a salad while I'm out and about. Like I'm not going to the gym. I think I've probably, let me set you guys up. So my arm doesn't start hurting. What was I saying? If you watch the vlogs or the What I Eat in a Week videos, you know that because I'm a germaphobe and the people in gyms are just so much more disgusting than the regular people out in society. Like I've watched people sneeze into their hand and then touch the weight machines. They never wipe off their machines. Only probably 35% of the people in my gym actually wipe their machine off. So I'm just avoiding the gym altogether. It's a breeding ground for germs and I can't afford to get sick right now. So yeah, I haven't been working out compounded with the fact that I traveled the past two weekends. Your girl is struggling. So I've gained about six pounds because you know, I'm not afraid to be honest and I, yeah, it is what it is. I'm still doing at-home workouts. I'm still trying to eat as clean as I can. I'm not doing any fast food or eating out when I can help it. And yeah, I've had more company in town. And so like yesterday, I made a bomb ass potato salad. I ate potato salad. Uh, but I've also been increasing my fiber in terms of vegetables, so that's been good. The thing about that is because I've been eating better overall, like in terms of introducing more fiber and vegetables into my diet, I don't feel gross. I only know that I've gained weight because my face looks a little fuller 
And when I wore my fat jeans this past weekend, they were just a little loose instead of being like super loose. So I, I can lose this six pounds in like two weeks. It's not a big deal at all. It's just, um, I know why I'm lacking right now and I know what I need to do. But I just wanted to include an extra day of vlogging into this vlog. So follow me around today when we get in the car. I have a really interesting story to tell you guys. I think you guys would be very proud of me. It's something that's been on my mind for a while and I've been waiting until I got a chance to vlog to share this with you guys because it was just ridiculous. So I'll talk to you guys in a few. Okay. So I wanted to talk to you guys. Oh, hello, I voted. I exercise my right. Um, I know not every young-ish person does, but just feel like I have the ability, I might as well. And if you don't vote, you just shouldn't complain. So I wanna be able to complain and voice my opinion about what happens in the election. So I exercise my right. Um, okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys about something. I, how did this happen? I reached out to a company a few months ago about collaborating for a video and they obliged and they sent me about three products I signed the contract you know everything was great this wasn't a paid sponsorship and if you guys kind of don't know the background side of YouTube um, sometimes your sponsorship deals won't be paid. It kind of just depends on your wishes, the brand's offering, stuff like that. But this was a collection of items that I was really interested in trying and I really didn't care if I didn't get paid. I mean, I'm trying not to do that so much anymore just because my reviews are valuable and just seeing the comments that you guys leave me, like if I recommend something, you guys are going to buy it. So I really shouldn't be doing things for free anymore, but that's neither here nor there. I did. And like I said, it was because I really wanted to try this product. And in the contract, they stated that they wanted me to give my honest, factual, and something else you know opinion and so when I sent them the video for review they sent it back and they said we didn't like when you said this about the product and here's the thing and this is why I wanted to share this with you guys I am never going to allow a brand to silence me I've never once done a partnership sponsorship collab with a brand and they've wanted me to change the narrative on my channel <laughs> operative word being my channel now mind you if I would have they would have had complete control of said video to post on their channel on their Instagram on their website and make tons of money off of said review from me so my thing is you're not paying me you're gonna have the complete like license to my content which doesn't really benefit me once again because I'm not getting paid and you want to control what I said so in the review I basically said I didn't like one thing about the product but I still loved it overall because it worked and that was my honest opinion like I'm not gonna say what the product actually is because you know that that doesn't make a difference for you guys the review went up and I'm sure some of you guys saw it um, but my thing is you can't tell someone that's doing a review for you that they have to love the product 100% there are products that I spend my hard-earned money on pay tons of money and I don't like everything about it it's called an opinion you know and I was just really uncomfortable with that so I told them how I felt I said you know per the contract per the agreement I was to give my honest opinion and my honest opinion is that I didn't like 100% of the product you know there were some things for me that are cons and you guys know when I do my product reviews on makeup and skincare I'm always gonna have pros and cons even if it's just the packaging you know I'm a very particular consumer and sometimes the packaging will be a 
con for a product. That doesn't mean that I'm not gonna repurchase it. It's just something that I didn't necessarily like, appreciate, or it wasn't my preferred packaging, or I didn't like the scent. So it was one of those type of things. And so we agreed that I would take all mention of it being a sponsored review out because they really wanted me to just say all positive things about the products and I told them that I wasn't comfortable doing that because my audience appreciates the fact that I tell them my 100% honest opinion and that I'm never going to compromise on that I'm never going to sell my soul when I'm not even being paid like how stupid is that so I just wanted to let you guys know that if there was ever any doubt in your mind that I'm doing all these sponsorships and these deals and reviews and I'm not being 100% honest now you know and like I said I started YouTube being a consumer I watch YouTube a lot I watch a lot of your channels so I know what people are looking for in reviews you don't want me to just say oh my god I love this product it is so amazing it helps me with everything like that is not honest I mean think about when you go to um, product websites you see actual customer testimonials a lot of times they're not all saying that they love the product wholeheartedly sometimes they do have things about the product that they're not too fond of and that's okay so I just thought it was so disgusting that this brand would decide to not work with me in the sense that they're sponsoring my content because they didn't like that I had something it wasn't even a negative it was literally just a preference i said that i didn't like an aspect of the product but it was totally just preference it's like saying the product was red packaging and i liked yellow because the red was a little too harsh that's literally what it came down to and um they said you know we'll just take the mention of it being a sponsored video or a collaboration out and maybe we'll do it again and i shot them back another email and i said you know that sounds great I will produce the video at said time, but I really don't feel comfortable collaborating with a brand who wants to control what I say on my channel. So I just thought that was so interesting and I wanted to share that with you guys um, because I know some of you don't really understand the back end of YouTube. Um, just like someone asked me if brands want your content before it goes up and if they don't like it, if you do have to refilm it. And yes, I mean, I've never had to refilm it because I follow what I need to say. I add my opinion. I don't you know want to slander a brand or anything so i've never had to re-record anything until this brand and then i realized this would now be the third time that i'm having to go through tremendous amounts of editing and filming because you are uncomfortable with me having a preference about something so minute no <laughs> so your girl she's writing for you guys regardless just know that i do have your best interest at heart um and i would never get on my channel and lie to you to sell a product i that's stupid i mean i was the girl who worked at sephora and told people look just go down to mac oh you guys are gonna fall <laughs> But when I was working at Sephora, I had told customers to go down to Mac because you can find a better product. Or, you know, when they would ask me what I'm wearing, you know, they would want Sephora employees to say, tell them you're wearing something sold in Sephora. But if I'm not, I'm not going to lie. And this is probably why I'm not meant to be a salesperson because I care too much about people. I have a degree in psychology. I'm not going to just bullshit to make people feel great no i really would like to actually help you <laughs> so yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys because that really it made me feel a particular way because like i said i've never worked with a brand before that's wanted to literally spin the narrative like that and i'm never gonna do that for you guys so you're welcome <laughs> so let me get to this um, dentist's office and I will see you guys when I'm done ready for the dentist <laughs> they're probably going to think I'm so weird but you can't put your health in other people's hands take your precautions got my face with me I didn't have to disinfect my chair, she already did it. 
shout out to her. I'm out of the dentist. So I thought they were totally gonna look at me weird when I walked in there with my wipes. Well, my Kroger brand Lysol wipes. But every time a hygienist or somebody walked by, they were like, oh my gosh, you just lit up my day. Maybe people don't care about stuff like that. Everybody should just be a germaphobe. I mean, it just makes life easier. Probably have like fluoride around my mouth. That's why I didn't put on makeup today, you guys, because every time I leave the dentist, I always have like crusty lips. Mm. I don't see how people come on like a lunch break and have to go back to work. Oh, he'd be looking crusty and dusty. But anyway, I am headed to Park Avenue Thrift. Let's get some thrifting in. Super excited. Oh, and by the way, every time I wear this little bag, I get so many compliments. This is the Louis Vuitton Vernie uh, Spring Street, and this is the discontinued colorway. I'll leave the link to the actual bag down below, though. But what I did was, if I'll also leave the video where I showed um, my reveal of this item, but it didn't come with a strap. And then the longer I wear it, like sometimes when I'm traveling, I'm like, I could really use a strap. So I just put my uh, monogram Louis Vuitton Eva strap on this, but I think I'm gonna get like a chain strap or something just because that strap totally doesn't go with it. But that little bag is the jam and people like it. So I would highly recommend it over like the traditional mini bag from Louis Vuitton, which would be like the Alma BB or there's another one that's like really popular. But anyway, I love that bag. I just wanted to tell you guys. Okay, this is the last thing I'm gonna say about this. <laughs> I just realized, why are my flashes on? I just realized that my dentist office is taking precautions. I realized when I walked in, I didn't have to sign in. Usually you have to sign in, you know, when you go to any healthcare provider. And when I was checking out, I didn't have to sign my, get you guys, I got you, I got you. I didn't have to sign my receipt, so. I don't know, it's kind of nice to see that my healthcare providers care, you know, not interacting with people as much as they can, you know, of course, when you can help it. Love it, shout out to you guys, high five. Okay, so I made it to Park Avenue Thrift. Is that what it's called? Yeah. So I did have the thought like, should I be coming here while, but then I researched it last night and it says that thrives longer on like hard smooth surfaces such as metals and things like that, plastic, and that it can't really live too long on clothing because you know, it's woven and there are like holes and such. So hopefully, I won't get by going thrifting. Once again, this is probably not the best thing to be doing right now, but I've been trying to do this forever. And when I found out there was a location, not near my dental office, but relatively near, I decided to come over here. So let's go in, hopefully I find something. I gave myself a $10 budget because I don't need anything. I have way too many clothes. Um, but I mean, I like thrifting, so. These are the shoes I wore today. I take advantage of the days when it's actually not raining in Atlanta. And these are my comfy Aaron shoes. Oh, let's see what we can find.
three things. A pair of jeans. I'm gonna be doing a jean video. I found a trench coat. Yes, she's everything. And then I found a coat. It doesn't even get cold here, but let's see how this works. So this is the trench coat. Now, she's a little snug, but I mean, you cannot pass this up. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to show y'all, <laughs> but so cute. Like, great quality. <sighs> I might have to get this. Like, I wouldn't button it up anyway. It's just so, so, so cute. Let's see how much it is. $14.51, so it's my entire budget. It's a lie. I need it. Like, I have to get it. I'm in the fit. I think it's for a man. I don't want to let it go. This is the coat, jacket, whatever you want to call it. Definitely getting her because I don't really have a coat. And it's by Via Spiga. The jeans. The jeans fit, so I'll be getting those as well. Got the goods, so. I ended up not getting the trench coat because I felt like it was a men's size because I googled how London Fogs women's trench coat sizing goes and it's like standard extra small to extra large so I put that back because it fit but it didn't like it didn't have any curve in it <laughs> so I put that back first let me sanitize so I got the coat and I got the jeans and I spent 14 bucks and I got a coupon to come back on Sunday, but I'm not coming back on Sunday. That's how they get you. <laughs> so yeah, that was all that I got from the thrift store. So yeah. Um, oh, let's get some air going. It is hot. So now I'm gonna go to Del Taco and get a salad because it looks like they have some amazing salads. And then I am headed home. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I will place the website for the thrift store down below in case you live in Georgia. Um, they might even have some locations in other states. But yeah, I think I got two great deals for $15. I didn't need that uh, that really nice double-breasted snap coat because like clearly it doesn't even get cold here. But when it does, I don't really have a coat that I like. So, I mean, it was nine bucks. So, I'm going to get my salad and get home. I am hungry. I'm sure Chloe is at home going crazy because I've been out all day and all I've had is the San Pellegrino flavored mineral water. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's continuation vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye.